Hi, we're the Flickamas. Today, as we look toward the cross and resurrection of Jesus, we'll be reading from Exodus 33, verses 12 through 23. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, leave these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so that I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me from and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked, because I am pleased with you, and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft on the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand, and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. This story reflects both the goodness and greatness of the Lord. In his goodness, the Lord promises to accompany his people with mercy and compassion. At the same time, in his greatness, he tells Moses that no one can look upon his face and live. However, in Jesus, the Bible tells us that we behold the glory of God, and in Jesus, we find true life. As we look toward Easter, we celebrate that Jesus enables us to see God in both his goodness and his greatness. Pre Father, thank you for sending Jesus so that all who we believe in him could have eternal life. We are grateful for Jesus' suffering and death, and we are grateful for his resurrection on Easter. This season, help us center our lives on the grace you have shown us in the cross of Christ. Amen.